Good morning, dear students. Today we are going to continue uh, the remaining portion of chapter super class pieces. Uh, today we are continuing with the, uh, the last super order that is super order TLUST. Under this super order included almost all presently existed fishes. Okay, they are advanced modern fishes with completely bony skeleton. And they are called the advanced ray finned fishes. Why they are called the ray finned fishes? I already explained to you. Uh, ray finned fishes means its fins are supported with the fin rays. That's why it's called the ray finned fishes. Then skin. What about the skin? The skin is covered by cycloid or tenoid scales. Cycloid scale. What is its appearance? I think uh, it's very clear to you. Ten, uh, tenoid scale is uh, like this. Having teeth like structures on its base. And regarding the fins. Fins. Caudal fin is homocircle. Homocircle means both the lobes are uh, equal. Both the lobes are equal in uh, length. That is uh, homocircle. Then head. Head uh, regarding the head. Uh, operculum. Operculum is, the, uh, is a covering. See uh, outer to the gills. This operculum is present. Spiracle. Spiracle is absent. What is spiracle? is also very clear to you. We have understand in the uh, last classes. Next, uh, skeletal, regarding the skeletal system, notochord is present but it is vestigial, means it is not functional. Digestive system, uh, digestive system, uh, yeah, and uh, in, in most of the fishes that we have learned till here, they are all uh, uh, are having a spiral valve in their uh, digestive system. But coming to this super order, that spiral valve is absent. Then circulatory, sorry, circulatory system. Circulatory system, heart is with the bulbous arteriosus in the place of corners. Both are small pouch like structure. And bulbous arteriosus is a pear shaped uh, chamber. Pear shaped chamber. And it uh, functions as a capacitor. And uh, capacitor improves the blood flow to the gill arches. Next, uh, reproductive aspects. Regarding the reproductive aspects and system, uh, it, uh, its fertilization is external and development is indirect. Indirect means in its development, larval forms may exist. Example, uh, uh, examples are anabas, clarius, etc. Then we are moving to learn about the examples. First one is anabas. Anabas, yeah, it is commonly called climbing birds. It's a very common fish. This image is shown here. It is common in our uh, rivers and streams. And uh, regarding its habitat, it is found in rivers and estuaries of Myanmar, Sri Lanka, and the Philippines. It's also common in our um, our state also. Then body laterally compressed. Laterally compressed means it is compressed from both side both side uh, his body is compressed both side clear from both side from this side and uh, the other side the body is compressed laterally compressed and reaches a length of 20 centimeter then skin is covered with the cycloid cycloid scales cycloid scales means uh, its uh, shape is like uh, in this way this is cycloid uh, scale cycloid scales and um, fins look in his uh, fins paid pectoral this is the pectoral fin and this is the pelvic fin they are very close to each other and just behind the heart uh, dorsal fin and ventral fin they are elongated and bear numerous spines you can see that spines very clearly in this image next uh, Regarding the head, operculum is uh, present with the spines at the free end. That means 
um, so this is this can be the head of a fish this operculum uh, the operculum can see some spines at the free end mouth is terminal with the homodon homodon means all the teeth have uh, similar shape the nervous system nervous system i uh, am um, regarding the nervous system lateral line system is lateral line system is present is help for balancing and to detect the presence of prey in its uh, in your uh, surroundings and that lateral line system is not complete in this anabas <coughs> then regarding the respiratory aspects it can breathe atmosphere um, air also with the help of a special uh, additional respiratory structure they are called accessory respiratory organ in the anabas the, uh, the accessory respiratory organ that uh, that found is labyrinthine form and what is the labyrinthine form uh, everything i will explain to you later in this section itself because of the presence of this accessory accessory means supporting helping uh, accessory respiratory organ they are called a climbing birds why it is called a climbing birds uh, because it can move uh, outside the stream uh, through the uh, muddy type land with the help of this accessory respiratory organ by taking the atmospheric uh, air instead of uh, the air that is uh, air present in the water that's why it is called a climbing birds next is clarius clarius uh, its image is shown here habitat is a fresh and brackish water we can uh, find this fish both in fresh water as well as brackish water regarding its body body is elongated and uh, cylindrical shape color is dark gray color on dorsal side and uh, coming to the ventral side the color become more lighter and skin is devoid of any type of scales uh, look at its head uh, is with the uh, eight long feelers or barbels and coming to fins a the dorsal fin is very long okay and uh, dorsal fin and anal fin both are very long and but even if it is long it is not united with the caudal fin if you look here you can uh, clearly notice that it is not uh, united with the caudal fin then pectoral fin pectoral fin is with a one spine that one spine we can see here this is one spine uh, that pectoral fin with the spines then caudal fin caudal fin uh, more or less round shape its shape is somewhat round uh, regarding the respiratory aspects uh, it also possesses an accessory respiratory organ uh, that organ is uh, called arborescent or dendriform organ okay next uh, next another fish that is heteronistus heteronistus its habitat it is freshwater fish and it can be found in indian subcontinent and sri lanka its image is shown here body is elongated now coming to the head its features it is dorso ventrally flattened from the dorsal side and ventral side from the dorsal side and ventral side it is compressed uh, so it is dorso ventrally flattened then jaws and vomer vomer means it's a type of bone paired bones where we can see the vomer uh, I am showing the inner side of upper jaw, um, and uh, this warmer means they are paired bone. Paired bone we can see in this portion, and in this portion two bones are there. They are called the warmer bone. It is the anterior part of the roof of the mouth. So uh, upper uh, jaw. So it's the roof of the mouth, and the, in the roof of the mouth, uh, a paired, flattened um, bone present, a pair of bone. That bone is called vomer, and that bone also with the uh, villiform teeth. Villiform teeth means what? Sorry, villiform teeth means what? Uh, this type of teeth, like the teeth of a uh, saw. 
uh, there is villiform teeth villiform teeth i will show you villiform teeth this is villiform teeth uh, like the teeth of a saw okay then cleft of the mouth is traverse and moderate in width means opening of the mouth its size is moderate in width eight barbels we can see in the case of this one also upper and lateral parts of the head osseous oh, osseous means it is covered with a very thick skin coming to the fins uh, adipose fin is absent adipose fin means it's a type of fin small fleshy fin uh, it is present in some type of fishes uh, in this image i will show what would be the position of that uh, adipose fin in some fishes but in the case in case of this heteronychus fish that adipose fin is totally absent if present we can see adipose fin somewhere here it is very fleshy and uh, it's not with uh, any type of rays so that's the nature of adipose fin and that adipose fin is uh, absent in the case of heteronychus it is a modified second dorsal fin and uh, in this fish a dorsal fin is present but it is very short without spines and it is placed just above in the same line with the pelvic fin and pectoral fin uh, it be uh, it be a, a poisonous spine that's another important feature anal fin is very long respiratory system respiratory system gill membranes uh, gill membranes uh, are this one and they are separated by a deep notch a notch we can see here and gill cavity gill cavity uh, with accessory posterior sac and that sac extend between the muscles so gill uh, gill uh, opening opens to a cavity and uh, it is with a, an accessory posterior sac like structure and that sac extend uh, between the muscles in the body of fish and additional information uh, it is an edible fish and the species that we can see in india is heteronistus fossilis next echinus echinus is another uh, interesting type of fish its habitat nearly all seas we can see this fish its body is fusiform means pointed at both ends covered with the small scales head is depressed it means compressed from um, dorsal side and the ventral side and anterior dorsal fin it is modified the form of a adhesive disc or sucker and the cleft opening of the mouth is moderately wide teeth is villiform villiform i already uh, showed you what is villiform type and that teeth is present in jaws in the warmer and palatine palatine means roof of the mouth and also on the tongue regarding the fins posterior dorsal fin is free and somewhat near to the caudal region this is the posterior dorsal fin uh, it is uh, free and uh, near to the caudal region and tail is without keel keel what do you mean by keel keel means it's a, a structure that gives strength and it is usually seen at the base of the tail i will show you its image uh, these are keels somewhat uh, seen towards the base of the caudal fin then pelvic fin this is pelvic fin uh, it is near the anterior region of the trunk this is pelvic fin respiratory aspects seven branchiostegals are present branchiostegals means what uh, they are long curved bones where we can found just below the operculum operculum means the covering uh, around covering over the gill slits so this branchiostegals a uh, branchiostegals supports the gill membranes they are long curved bones air bladder is absent then uh, one more additional information here also uh, using the sucker this sucker it can attach the body of other fishes and turtles for a free transportation that is commensalism is an example for commensalism because it is not causing any harm to its host 
ओके नेक्स्ट खाना नेक्स्ट फिर इस खाना इस हैबिटेट इस फ्रेश वाटर लुक इन इमेज व्हाट अबाउट इस बॉडी व्हाट्स एपीरेंस इट इस इलांगेटेड एंडीरियर रीजन सब सिलेंड्रिकल हेड इस डिप्रेस्ड and it is covered with a shield like scales on dorsal side it, its head resembles like a snake snake's head and mouth cleft is wide means its opening is wide fine teeth are present in jaws vomer and palate then lower jaw uh, with some large teeth in its lower jaw some teeth are large eyes are lateral Means on uh, both sides, sideways, eyes are located. Skin regarding the the skin, body is covered with the small scales. Respiratory aspects. Gill cleft are widely. Gill cleft means what I already explained to you. What is gill cleft? Gill cleft means it is simple. So opening, opening of gills. That is gill cleft. Opening of the gills. Uh, that is gill cleft. It is very wide. Four pairs of gills are present. Accessory respiratory is or uh, or, or uh, respiratory organ is present in this fish also. Uh, fins coming to the fins. Dorsal fin is single and it is long. Anal fin uh, is without any spines. Pectoral fin, pectoral fin and pelvic fin is present. Skeletal system, vertebral column present, it is with 52 to 61 vertebrae. Uh, caudal vertebrae is with uh, ribs. Uh, then one more additional information, it can move without water for short period. Without the present, without uh, even an um, uh, enormous amount of water, it can move for some distance. Body cavity, uh, is contained it is continuous into the tail it's, its body cavity is continuous with the tail and it, it is an edible fish next time we are moving to uh, an important section in this chapter um, that is accessory respiratory organ means the organs or structures that is supporting the respiration in some fishes to take atmospheric air and this portion can assess essay question for your examination is very important. Okay, there are additional respiratory structures. Accessory respiratory organs are additional respiratory structures. And which all structures are modified to uh, support the respira respiratory function in fishes. Uh, those structures got modified are skin, uh, then buccopharyngeal epithelium, buccopharyngeal, bucco means mouth, pharyngeal means pharynge, it's epithelium, gut epithelium, pelvic fins, then pharyngeal diverticula means some outgrowth from pharynx, that is pharyngeal diverticula, uh, from uh, branchial means gill, from gills chamber, some uh, outgrowth uh, may uh, originate now develop and that acts as an accessory respiratory structure they are called the branchial diverticula and air bladder all these things we are going to see now first one skin in which fishes the skin acts as an accessory respiratory organ the example is eels or ancula ancula in this fish the skin acts as the respiratory accessory respi respiratory organ uh, assist respiration by taking atmospheric air and uh, so that's in those fishes the skin helps in respiration both in water and land then next coming to buccopharyngeal epithelium buccopharyngeal epithelium means the epithelium that's seen in the mouth and the pharynx is um, got some modification to assist respiration what modification uh, modification uh, means it become more vascular. Vascular means it is uh, rich with the blood capillaries, blood vessels. Such type of modification is seen in which type fishes? Periophthalmus and Simbrangus. Okay. Then as uh, it become more vascular, suppose this is the skin portion of uh, pharynx. 
and it is rich with the blood capillaries. We know that all air and nutrients are circulated inside the body through the blood vessels. So, the carbon dioxide produced that is uh, produced as a result of metabolism is present in this blood uh, capillaries. As air uh, enters the body uh, from outside, it contains oxygen and this oxygen can enter into this blood vessels and this carbon dioxide can move uh, or expel out. So, that is the way uh, it assists respiration and when uh, the buccal region and pharynx region become more vascular. Then coming similarly as coming to the gut epithelium, the wall of the gut become uh, modified. Modified means it becomes vascular to assist respiration in the same way. In which type of fish the, such type of uh, modification is found? Mesgurus fossilis is an example for such type of a uh, fish. Peculiarity means that elementary canals wall is vascular. Uh, specifically, Lepidosiren is intestinal wall is highly vascular. In Calicus, rectum. Rectum means it's a la last portion of large intestine. And that rectum's wall is vascular. And another, another structure that is modified to assist respiration is pelvic fin. Uh, in which type of uh, fish this modification is found? American lungfish Lepidosiren itself. During its breeding season, in males, the pelvic fin, its size got enlarged and become vascular. And uh, as it becomes vascular, it helps in respiration. Respiration and also it supplies oxygen to its uh, garden eggs. That is uh, that pelvic fin, its modification for assisting the respiration. Then coming to pharyngeal diverticula. Pharyngeal diverticula means some outgrowth is forming from pharynx. This is act like outgrowth uh, seen outside externally to, uh, from the pharynx. And its wall is uh, very vascular. And because, and because of that vascular wall, the air that enters into that sac. Uh, it can give uh, fresh oxygen and also take away the uh, carbon dioxide. This is another modification. An example for the fish that is having that pharyngeal diverticula is Amphiopnis and Ghana. Then branchial diverticula. Branchial means gill chamber. Gill chambers outgrowth. That uh, is modified into a uh, respiratory structure to assist respiration. So, branchial diverticula are outgrowth from gill chambers. Gill chambers means the space that uh, space where the uh, gill slits, gill, uh, uh, ah, okay, gill slits and the gill arches are located. Which are the uh, different types of diverticular branchial diverticulas are present? Uh, they are tubular diverticula, labyrinthine organ, dendritic or arborescent organ that we are going to see. That's the tubular diverticula. As the name tells uh, this uh, its appearance also like uh, uh, the form of a tube. Here we can see so in form of a extended tube and this type of uh, accessory respiratory organ is found in which fish? Heteromestous fish. <laughs> this tubular sac wall also highly vascular from where it arises from the gill chamber, the chamber that carry the gill slits. So, uh, sorry, that gills. And this air sac, tubular sac, extend up to the tail. And with the help of this sac, it uh, it uh, takes the atmospheric air. Next is labyrinthine organ. Labyrinthine organ is also an additional. Um, res accessory respiratory structure formed, um, formed from the outgrowth of gill chamber. <laughs> this is the gill chamber and from the gill chamber and, uh, uh, a cavity is forming externally uh, uh, and that cavity is called the suprabranchial cavity and uh, in that suprabranchial cavity from the first epibranchial bone develop 
uh, an accessory respiratory organ. Its name is labyrinthine organ. Its form is in the form of highly folded concentric bony plates. In the form of uh, fold, highly folded concentric bony plate, this accessory respiratory organ exists. And this is also highly vascular. Epibranchial bone means what? Epibranchial bone means it is the bone that is seen dorsally to the gill arch. Gill arch means what? Gill arch also I have shown you once in some part of this chapter. Gill arch means it is the bony structure on this gills are gill filaments are arranged. And it is serially arranged in that gill chamber. Uh, this space is gill cleft. The space between two gill slit. Two gill, uh, what, um, gill arch. So, epibranchial bone, bone means it is a bone seen dorsal side of this gill arch. And the, from the first epibranchial bone uh, develop this accessory respiratory organ. Okay. So, air enters the body of this fish through its mouth, enters this gill chamber and in that gill chamber region present this accessory respiratory organ. It is highly vascular and there that gas exchange takes place and the uh, use of gas is expelled uh, through the opercular, opercular opening. This is about labyrinthine organ. Next, dendritic organ. Dendritic organ is found in clarius. Uh, here also, uh, that uh, accessory respiratory organ is in the form of highly branched tree-like structure. It is developed in the suprabranchial cavity. Suprabranchial cavity is a cavity that uh, grows outside to the gill uh, chamber. And uh, this structure also highly vascular and here also air exchange takes place uh, as uh, when the air enters the um, uh, body of fish to the mouth and as the air reaches here uh, gas exchange takes place and the use of air is expelled out to the upper column. It's about dendritic organ in that way it's uh, help in respiration. And the last one is air bladder or swim bladder. It is present in almost all bony fishes. It uh, at the same time it uh, has respiration. It uh, functions as a hydrostatic organ, supporting organ, giving stability. And uh, that air side air bladders are highly uh, vascular, and also it contains so many alveolus. Alveolus means some uh, small air sacs like structures. And uh, in that way, uh, it assists respiration, helps respiration uh, in this type of fishes. Okay, with this we finish this chapter and today's section. Thank you.